you got the under counters, and they are exactly what they sound like. They slide under the counter just like your dish machine at home. They fit in there. Uh, the big thing to be aware of on undercounter dish machines is the opening size, okay? Um, we go from a 16 inch opening up to a 20 inch opening. One of the things that the CMA machines have over anybody else, the L1X series and the UC180, they have stainless steel wash arms, okay? It's a stainless steel, looks like a, looks like a round rod in the bottom and in the top. Um, most everybody else has gone to a plastic wash arm. Ours, when you pull it out to clean it out, you can bang it on the side of the sink, you can do whatever else you want to. The end of those wash arms, we put in a stainless steel screw that you take out so you can clean out down the tube. Everybody else puts a plastic uh, screw in the end of that. Not gonna last near as long as that stainless steel one does. The other thing that we do on the CMA machines with the stainless steel wash arms, we put a big band around the end because as I talked to you, most people when they clean them, they'll unscrew the screw, they'll take it and they'll bang it on something to get whatever's lodged inside out. If you unround that round end, the screw no longer will plug in there and you'll no longer have a seal and water will not squirt out of the holes in the wash arm to produce the wash. Then we move into the uprights, okay? That's what you call the tall machines. They stand up, they got double doors on either side, you open the door, you slide the dish rack in, you shut the door, the machine turns on, does the wash cycle, finishes in anywhere from 45 to 90 seconds, depending on the machine and depending on the setting, and then out the other side, okay? Now again, these machines, when you look, you can tell if you look at this machine right here, you see the little uh, appendage coming out the side there? That's the sump, and that's a fill and dump machine, okay? So these are our our uh, low temp dish machines here. Again, you can see that they do have the pumps built on at the top there. They're already on there. So that you just take your, uh, what they call them straws right out the back and just dip it down into the bucket of your chemicals, sanitizer and your, and your uh, rinse agent. If you're doing much over about 50 racks an hour, and I'll actually get down to about 30 racks an hour, you need an upright. And that's simply because you don't want to have to be bending down sliding a rack in, bending back down, pulling that rack back out, okay? And typically you'll find that an under counter is not set up to do what we call scrapping in a very efficient manner, okay? Now, one of the other things that's kind of an offshoot of talking about dish machines is how they scrap. <laughs> typically you'll find people that will have uh, some simple pre-rinse hose where they've got it, like that one right there mounted to that sink. Um, and they're basically spraying off dishes and putting them into the rack, sliding them through. Uh, that's a very, very time consuming job, okay? We always recommend that if you're doing much in the way of volume that you move up to something like a salvage or scrap master or scrap collector where, you know, one person can keep up with a conveyor machine, you know, running it through. It takes anywhere from 30 to 40 seconds to run through a conveyor machine and you can keep up scrap speed with that. A typical pre-rinse, you're scrapping about one uh, every three minutes. So it just doesn't, um, the bottleneck is usually not the dish machine, it's usually the scrapper trying to keep up with it, loading the racks, sliding them through, and then somebody on the other side to unload the racks when they come through.